team, it's Tom for Fitco. Welcome back to day nine, all about protein. And today we are going to talk about your secret weapon, which is the Super Shake. So the Super Shake is a phenomenal liquid meal that you can take anywhere with you on the go. The Super Shake is going to be part of your arsenal for success when we are looking at getting that protein in there and getting a nice healthy meal in a convenient form when you haven't got time for breakfast or and or lunch. So let's have a look at the ingredients of a Super Shake. So frozen fruit, first of all. So frozen fruit is going to be the base of the flavor. So it's going to give you the flavor for your shake. So I would look at things like berries and bananas. And the reason we're going through frozen for this particular one over fresh is number one, it's convenient. You can literally stock up on the frozen, keep it in the freezer. And also as well, you don't get the same level of froth that you would get with the fresh fruit. So I would use frozen as well. It makes it nice and cool and palatable as well when you're blending that shake together. Um... Veggies wise, so veggies are super important, get those in your shake, obviously we need those vitamins and minerals and you're going to get a hell of a lot of those in your veggies, but my advice to you would be to start with spinach. The reason I would start with spinach is you can't taste it, it does turn your shake green, but you won't be able to taste it, so it's a great way to sort of introduce yourself into adding vegetables into your smoothie. Um, then look at things like celery, beetroots, and eventually leafy greens. So make sure if you pop in leafy greens into your shake, you need a really good blender. So you need something like a Vitamix or a Magic Bullet. If not, you're just gonna end up with loads of bits in there and it's ranked. So you've gotta make sure you've got a really good quality blender. Vitamix has been the most expensive. Magic Bullet is pretty cheap. It's a powerful little blender. But bear in mind with the Magic Bullet, you're probably gonna be, only make, be able to make enough for one shake with that one. Uh, and then lastly, looking at things like powdered greens as well. They're really awesome, really super convenient. Just throw those in there, condensed greens. And there's various different flavors. Just ask one of your coaches and they will point you in the right direction of what is a good um Good powdered green supplement at this time, particularly. Uh, fats wise, so make sure you've got some fat in there as well. So things like ground flaxseed, chia seed, nuts, avocado is one of my favorites. I love the avocado in there. It makes it really, really creamy, turns it into a bit of a dessert as well. So definitely look at the avocado. If you want something that's a bit dessert-like, you know, and you, you're staying away from desserts at the moment, avocado is a really, really good option. Unsweetened liquids, so things like water, green tea is a great option in there as well. As well, it's got fat burning properties, a little bit of caffeine. Looking at the coffee as well, pop some coffee in there. Again, you know, that's going to give you a little bit of flavour as well, give you a bit of a pick me up if it's part of your um, lunchtime slump. Uh, nut milks as well, things like almond, cashew, hazelnut, coconut, nut milks, all really good choices as well. Make sure you're getting the unsweetened time, check the back, look at the carbohydrates of which sugars it should say none. We don't want any sugar in those uh, unsweetened liquids. Um, protein wise, so powdered protein, so again, as you coach, look at things like whey protein, beef proteins, all the different types of proteins. Obviously, if you're intolerant to dairy, be mindful of that and choose a hemp-based one or a beef-based one or something different. But definitely ask your coach about that as well. Uh, unsweetened Greek yogurt, you can throw your Greek yogurt in there as well. That will definitely give you some flavor and a little bit of protein in there as well, obviously. And uh, cottage cheese is another high protein option. But again, for those of us who are struggling with dairy, obviously they are no-nos and we're looking at the protein powders um, instead in the various different forms. So that is it. That is everything all about the Super Shake. My advice to you, get a blender, get some electricity, blast a shake first thing in the morning. Take it with you to work as an emergency meal or when you need to pick me up, it'll stop you going for that biscuit, especially because there's so much nutrient density in a Super Shake as well. You will feel full after that. You will feel satisfied. It's essentially a meal in a glass. Try it and I'll see you guys in Results City very soon.